Thanks, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, and regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or ingredients, or if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program or help someone else, a loved one, a friend, family member, a workmate, wean themselves off their medication and get on a good nutritional supplement program. We want to help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, you can head over to BenFuchsArchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. That's a beautiful website, Peter. Thank you very much. Also, uh, you can also head over to my blog, BrightSideBen.com, CriticalHealthNews.com. Uh, you can also go to brightsideben.com and order products right off the website. And, of course, if you'd like to join the Brightside Ben team, love to have you on the team as well. You can sign up right from the website or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And, of course, if you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, I'm getting some really cool letters. Thank you so much for sending notes and letters on the retinol gel 5% with a whole bunch of vitamin C, no wax, no oil, no silicon, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want or doesn't know what to do with. And that's the way it should be. And that's why I call the products the truth. And that is the truth. You shouldn't have to put anything on your skin that your skin is going to have to process away or detoxify. And you shouldn't have to pay for it either. Truthtreatments.com. Check out our four truth products as well as our skin health blog. Thank you so much for joining us once again on the bright side. We've been talking about fats, essential fatty acids, fatty hormones, powerful. It's hard to, hard to really get a grasp on how powerful these chemicals are, these molecules are when it comes to growth and repair and defense and anti-aging. Your liquid, uh, the, the uh, water-soluble nutrients, your Bs and Cs and, and uh, what, the, what are called the electrolytes, they're for electrical energy. And they're important, obviously, but for long-term growth and repair, for building things, it's the fats, for support against uh, uh, disease, against the inflammatory process. This is where the EFAs come in, inflammation and anti-inflammation. Disease is about burden. That's what it is. It's right there in the word. Dis-ease, burden, stress. I, I don't even like the word stress. I'm not going to say that word because when we say stress, we really mean strain, not stress. Stress it, it, stress and strain are two distinct ideas, and we're always saying stress when we meet strain. Stress is just pressure that's put on a system. Strain is the response of the system. Our disease is about strain. It's about dis-ease. It's about burden. It's about some kind of load that the body has to deal with. Not any load, but chronic, day-to-day, long-term, everyday load. Load means burden. Just think of a, uh, the straw that breaks the camel's back. Think of a camel with straw after straw after straw after a straw. You know, when you think you, you were perfectly fine and all of a sudden you got arthritis, all you're really perceiving is the straw that breaks the camel's back. But it took a lot of straws for that last straw to break the camel's back. But these straws are light one at a time. We don't notice them. They're under the radar. And this is why food is so important. 
This is why food is such an important idea and why it should be the first suspect, first suspect always when it comes to burden or disease. Always the food first. Always, 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 always. And when I say food, I also mean food slash digestion. They're both linked. Be the food and digestion are something that happens every day. For many of us, every two hours we're eating something. Imagine if you're eating the wrong food every two hours. This is what more people than not are eating the wrong food every two hours. And it's not their fault because, first of all, that's the only food that's available. Second of all, we're induced to eat the wrong food because it's cheap, cheaper, way cheap, unspeakably cheap sometimes. And nobody's telling us. And even worse, they're telling us wrong information. How many times do we need to see a stupid food pyramid updated every five years? Why are they updating the food pyramid every five years? We've known how to eat for hundreds of years. And you've got to update the food pyramid every five years because it's political, because it's economic, because it's lobbyists, because it's not for us. The food pyramid is for industry because the government's not for us. The government is for industry. Maybe we benefit somewhere down the line. Rising tide lifts all boats, as they say. I, I don't know. But the fact is, is that the uh, information that we get about how to treat our bodies, especially around food, is not for us as individuals. It's for us, perhaps, as beneficiaries of the industries it supports, but it's not for us directly. But it doesn't matter. We can do it ourselves. And the, uh, the other reason why food is so important is because it's simple. You know, mosquitoes and chemtrails and mercury toxicity and tick bites and strange viruses. These are dramatic and we notice them. They make the news. Everybody's worried about them. But our eating behaviors and our food choices, they're subtle. They're quiet. They involve activities that we've been participating in all our lives. So it's easy for us to ignore them. It's easy for us to ignore the impact that they have on our diseases. And this is really important when it comes to science, okay? And the health of our bodies is scientific. It's not somebody's opinion. It's not somebody's feelings. It's not what somebody thinks is a good idea or a bad idea. It's hardcore science. And one of the coolest things about good scientists, and good science, I should say, and good scientists, one of the coolest things is that they respect simplicity, basic ideas, simple ideas. The simplest idea is the first thing that you want to approach. This is a scientific code. Basic, simple ideas underlie complexity. It's actually in, uh, there's a theory, a physics theory called complexity theory that talks about how simple ideas underlie complex phenomena. This is so important. Today in mathematics, or today in, uh, well, I guess in mathematics and computer sciences, they know that all of reality can be, can be uh, described in a few simple equations. This is what Einstein was, was obsessed with, was finding the simple equations underneath complexity. But here's the thing about complexity, the sneaky thing about it, and this is really sneaky, okay? Complexity serves authorities. Complexity takes power away from individuals and places it in those who know, in authority. Whether the authority is the government with its zillions of laws that nobody knows and nobody can understand and nobody's ever read, probably, all of the laws, the Patriot Act, remember that? Uh, how many tens of thousands of pages of the Patriot Act have and they just signed it? You can't read 80,000 pages of law. The IRS, 72,000 page tax code. Who do you think that serves? Do you think that serves us? No, it serves the authority. All the rituals and do's and don'ts that we have to do to, to, to go to heaven, that the religions tell us we have to do to go to heaven, who does that serve? It serves the religion. It doesn't serve the individual. Complexity takes power away from the individual. The worst place, though, is in our health. That's where it's, it's bad enough with the government, the IRS, and you know, religion. But when, it, when complexity takes power away from the individual and puts it in the hands of the authorities, that's nasty business, really nasty. And what the bright side is about is cutting through that crap. And that's what, we're, uh, that's what we do here every day. That's what we'll do here when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. All 
right, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, or if you just want to comment or or share a success story, we'd love to hear those. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team, you and I can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can make some money doing it. You can help people, help people big time. I'm telling you, I, I, every week I get four or five calls from people who have benefited dramatically, not just benefited, benefited dramatically from the Longevity products. And this has uh, been going on now, in my experience, it's been going on for almost 20 years. If you are interested in changing your life, the life of uh, a loved one, friend, family member, workmate, who's dealing with a chronic, long-term degenerative disease, please give them the gift of nutrition, the gift of ease of nutrition, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Healthy Start Pack. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Einstein said if you can't explain something to a kid, you can't explain something to a six-year-old, you didn't understand it yourself. And in this upside-down, reverse mirror world of ours, where good is bad and bad is good, if something is too simple, we don't believe it. And I could tell us, I talk to people probably, I don't know, four or five times a day, I talk to somebody on the phone about a health challenge or health issues. And if people are understanding about nutrition or understanding about health or a little bit suspicious about the medical model, usually they'll pay attention to what I say. But I can always tell somebody thinks that this stuff is too simple. It can't be that easy because my doctor would have told me. Most of these people live in New York, I noticed, or back east, which is the belly of the beast of the, uh, of the medical authority model that thrives on complexity. We have this idea that if something is too simple, it can't be, it can't be real. Now, I can kind of see what you're saying, but the thing is, with my own eyes, I've seen what something as simple as replacing zinc in the diet if somebody has acne can do. I've seen with my own eyes what can happen to blood pressure when you breathe deeply. I've seen with my own eyes what simple little moves can do. Reducing sugar intake, eating less food, fasting, using nutritional supplementation can do to change, to, to change health. And then I, I compare that to the ridiculous ideas and complexity associated with the medical model that's so convoluted that even doctors don't understand it sometimes. And I see the simplicity associated with the effectiveness. Simplicity is always going to be behind complexity. Newton talked about this. Newton, Sir Isaac Newton was considered the, uh, probably the most brilliant scientist who ever lived. First guy to come up with the science of science. He studied the scientific method, how to, what the science of coming up with scientific discoveries was about. And he was all about simplicity. He said, uh, this is from his book, his classic book, maybe the greatest scientific book of all time called The Principia. He said, no more cause, a quote, no more causes of natural things should be admitted that are sufficient to explain their phenomena. Don't make stuff up. Just go with the simplest, the simplest solution. It's your genes. It's a virus. It's a tick. It's a, a, a molecular change. It's a. I read one. This is. Uh, check this one out. Okay. This is from. Uh, this is this is thought to be a, claw, a cause of dirty of clotted blood. We've talk, been talking about blood thinning, and by the way, omega threes are phenomenal for helping keep the blood thin. So instead of saying the blood is dirty, which is what we say on this program, the blood is dirty. It's suffocated. It's got crap in it and not enough oxygen. Instead of saying that, they say it's a mutation on the NAT2 gene of factor V Leiden carriers causing a Leiden prothrombin variant. Yes, that's why you clot, why your blood clots. This is what your doctor will, this is what he believes. This is what he study. It's not his fault. It's what the medical model teaches him. Start getting on a supplement uh, program. Start taking omega-3s. If your blood thinned, it was not uh, a mutation on the NAT2 gene of factor V Leiden carriers causing a Leiden prothrombin variant. It was an omega-3 deficiency. Your blood didn't have what it needed, period. Now, the genes change. Truly, the genes will change.